Now then guys, welcome to Strauss Gaming and welcome back. This is episode 49 of my road to glory on Football Manager 2019. Today is just a nice little short episode. Like I said, this one is just going to be an FA Cup game against West Ham. I said that in the last episode, what we're going to be doing. Um, so what have been what have we been up to since the last time you've seen us? We've played two games, I believe it was. Or was it one game? Um, when did you see us? No, it's only we've only played one game. We beat Watford in the league 1-0, which... Potentially wise, it puts us up into 12th place at the minute. Level points with Leicester City and Southampton. We've got a, quite a big gap now. 11 point gap from Watford in 18th place. So it looks like relegation shouldn't be a problem. We should be all right. Um, reach the fifth round of the FA Cup, which is what we're in. We want to try and win this. And we've already beat West Ham once, but we've got a couple of injuries. We're just, we're just going to get into the game and we'll, we'll have a look at the injuries we've got. Um, injury wise, Oy is out injured. He's, he's back in two days. I'm not going to rush him back now. Harvey Barnes as well, back in three days. Again, more importantly, he's the league in my mind. The cup runs are all fun to play at the minute. Um, who else? Um, uh, Gwenai, whatever his name is anyway. He can't play his cup tie. He's already played in the FA Cup as it stands. So this is how we're going to be lining up. In fact, uh, yeah, I'm going to do that. So we've got Henderson in goal. James is going to be on the right. Uh, Saldado in the middle. With Garcia next to him, he's getting some game time. He hasn't played for a while. He's going to come in and hopefully have a decent game. Uh, Vida out on the left-hand side with Accra and Granduzzi in the centre. Maximum and Miguel are going to be out on the wings. Aguero and Abraham up front just to do at the 4-2. Oh, it's the 4-2-4. That's what it's called, isn't it? The 4-2-4 formation. I'm going to give this a go. We're, a, we're at home anyway. We've already beat West Ham. Hopefully, we can just give them a good game. We can go and win this FA Cup tie, get into the next round of the FA Cup, which would be nice. And just go on and... Is it, I'm pretty sure it's the quarter-final, the next one. Maybe get another semi-final under a belt. I don't know, but we'll, um, we should be winning this one fairly comfortably. We probably shouldn't. We really shouldn't, but... Again, and this isn't obviously my ideal team, how I would like to be playing. But it is what it is. We'll, um, we'll, we should do it all right. I think Aguero and Abraham up front, again, they have had a good partnership when they've played in the Carabao Cup together in the league a couple of times. Um, with... Morel coming into the team, they've kind of fallen out. Obviously, Abraham and Aguero, just, Morel's just scoring goals for fun for us. And we're going to get the first highlight, and it's going to hopefully come to us, actually. Maximum wins the ball, plays it to Abraham, who's in. He should have should have scored that. He really should have scored that. He's got plenty of time to improve this kid, as. Obviously, he's been not playing much football recently, and again for us. But I'm going to be playing him a lot more next season. He's going to be my second striker to come on. Obviously, I've got Aguero... Again, we'll be kicking around, but he's not going to be sticking around too much longer. Ah, Felipe Anderson shows Abraham how to score, though. West Ham go 1-0 up, unfortunately, for us. Um, we should be able to bounce back, I reckon. Just gets played down this uh, left-hand side, and ball comes in by Simone. Felipe Anderson just picks the ball up. There's no one really marking him, and he shows Abraham how it's done. There we go. Um... Corner kick. That's what I was going to say. But we've just won a penalty. Oh, my God. Aguero is taking the penalty. I couldn't commentate for love for money then. Aguero steps up to take the penalty. He slots it in to make it 1-1. This is what we want. We're getting back into it. The only problem is if we do draw this game, it is going to go to a replay, which is not kind of what I've planned for this sort of a episode. Depending on when the replay is, I'll probably just play it straight after this one and just make this episode a full-on FA Cup game. Um, double header if, it's, if it has to be. Right, just before half time, we've got a free kick on the edge of the box. Can we score? Aqua goes quite close. We don't. It looks like we're going to be going into half time at 1 1. Not too bad. We got ourselves back into the game. Aguero's got himself a goal, uh, obviously from the penalty spot, which is good to see that he's, he still can score from there. That's, to be honest with you, that's the sort of chances we want him to be taking, uh, especially with his experience. He's not really going to get many chances on the pitch. Obviously, these sort of set pieces, the penalties and stuff, you'd think he'd be focused enough just to score them for us. Kick-off ends, and we'll just see what happens in this second half. All right, Oxford for West Ham. Ball forward. Maximum picks the ball up now. Can he find anyone? Granduzzi plays it out to Miguel. He's not been having a great game, but he does find Abraham. He's in, and Abraham, that's your last chance. I'm going to bring on Morel on. I want to win this. Tammy Abraham, though, how old is he? He's 25 years of age. He's played 10 games, scored two goals for us. 
he could do well. He, he's just a backup striker, really, isn't he? He can improve still. He's our third best striker at the club. He's got plenty of time to get into it. He's definitely just the backup for us. And he, he can score goals. Hopefully, he'll start scoring for some for us, actually. He's, what is it? Five goals already this season, obviously. The, most of them are cup games. A couple of league league goals for us. Garcia and Villa just passing it around between them. Out wide to Miguel. To Guendouzi. Can he find anyone? Aguero. Finds Moya. Can he sh plays it to Aguero? Aguero with an absolute screamer. He can still finish Aguero, can It's his first start in a while. Sergio Aguero steps up for Cardiff City in the FA Cup. Guendouzi picks the ball up. Plays it to Aguero. He plays it for to Morel, who then just plays it straight back to Aguero. This is lovely football from us. And their keeper should have done a hell of a lot better, really. Instead, he just tries to just palm it out. So far, a 2-1 at the minute is, is looking very good. Right, we've got a free kick. Aguero for his hat-trick. He goes close. Unfortunately, doesn't get his hat-trick. And Lumley, with the goal kick, it's highlight straight from that free kick. Just keep the ball, Vida. You've got plenty of time, and he does. Just plays the ball over the top, though. He could have just played a nice ball. They're playing the ball over the top. You've got time. You've got time. There we go. That's what we like to see. Guendouzi, back to Garcia. Back to Garcia again. Ball over the top again. Again, we're just getting the ball in midfield, looking for the ball over the top for the strikers. And then they're just coming straight back. And it looks like Simone's going to be in here. And is that Simone that played for Fiorentina? I'm going to click on him now and he's going to score, isn't it? It is, yeah. That's how I know him. Um, right, he's going to score now. We've done that. I'm going to make a couple of subs as well Why we're here. What, who are we going to bring on? We've kind of got a problem, really. Eric Garcia is struggling a little bit. So I might just bring on... I might just make a defensive change. I might just make two defence... Defences changes. Obviously, um, James is struggling for condition out there. Eric Garcia is struggling. We'll just freshen up the defence, I think. Double change in defence. I don't normally do that, but i say Sane, bring him on. He's got experience. He can come on. Um, Montrell as well on the right back. Again, he's had a good season. Aqua wins this ball here. Plays it to Miguel. Plays it back to Vida. Out to Guendouzi. Back to Maguire. We're playing some good football here. Miguel even. Morel's in. He shoots. It just goes wide. He could have put this tie to, uh, tie to dead. What was I going to say? Tie to an end? Uh, to bed, I think I was trying to say. But anyway, Simone. Back out wide. Simone's going to get a goal now. I clicked on him and now I keep mentioning him. He's on the ball now though. Felipe Anderson. What's he going to do? I feel like West Ham have got another goal in it. I, I really do. And I haven't got the players really to go defensive. And there we go. Simone scores because we clicked on him and we had a look at him. And that's why he scored. It's generally what happens, isn't it, on Football Manager? You point out a player, but then again, we are quite attacking right now. I should have gone defensive. I haven't got. Due to the couple of injuries we've had, it's kind of ruined what I'm doing with the formation with Oyo and uh, obviously uh, Gaya not being able to play as well. Um, we probably could have gone that. We have got Swift on the bench and so we could have dropped one of the two midfielders down. But it's fine. 2-2. Two, two. It looks like this is going to go to... Oh, no. It's extra time. I thought this was going to be a um, replay. So we're going to go to extra time. Uh, this is not what we expected. Keep going out there. Can we make a sub? How is everyone looking? Guendouzi. Can we make a sub? No, I didn't know if it was. I didn't know if it was one of these ones where you could make an extra sub. So it goes straight to extra time, okay? Which I don't mind. It going straight to extra time. Uh, it means we've managed to finish the fixture now. Maximum with a free kick in. Aguero. Oh no, it's not Aguero. It's Saldero even with his second goal of the season. Obviously, it's his first goal for us. But surely it's a. It's his first goal for ourselves. I can't remember him scoring any other goals for us. But there we go. He rises high. Second goal of the season. He must have got one for Leicester. But that's definitely his first goal for the club for ourselves. And we go 3-2 up in this tie. Hopefully we can just end it 3-2. It would be lovely if that's the case. They've got to throw in deep in their half. Can we just hold on? In Just for this first half of extra time. Ball over the top. Saldado picks it up. Plays it back to Henderson. Plays a big ball through the middle. Obviously there's no one really there in the, in the central area of the attacking midfield. We're missing, definitely missing Oya there. Could have dropped maybe Aguero back a little bit. And I might just do that. Saldero with a good interception there. But Mario Balotelli out of nowhere. Where did he come from? Mario Balotelli obviously plays for West Ham. And it's just bagged a goal for him, making it 3-3. And game on again, guys. Game on. 
ball comes in. Salredo tries to clear it. Good interception there, but no one else is onto it. And then Balotelli just heads it in. He must have just come on now. He has 82nd minute. Mario Balotelli. I did look at signing him at one point. There we go. Start the second half. What a game this is. I wasn't expecting it to be like this. 3-3. Free, free. Is it just going to go to penalties now? That's the question. I'm going to keep Aguero. Well, obviously, I've got to keep everyone on. Do I drop Aguero back a little bit to be more an attacking midfielder? One minute more. I think that's it. It's going to go to penalties. It is going to go to penalties. Right, so you managed to miss the penalties last time. Um, it is gone straight to penalties. You missed the penalties against Southampton in the, uh, the Carabao Cup. So, we're about to witness penalties now. They must have known. The game must have known that I'm only playing this. Right, Aguero. Can he score again? He's already scored once today from the penalty spot. He does score. Does that technically make it a hat-trick from scoring in the penalties? It doesn't really, does it? Balotelli's going to step up. Come on, Balotelli. Missed the penalty. Balotelli, ah, keeper probably should have done a lot better there. 1-1 one, one on penalties. Maximum stepping up. Come on. Just bag this penalty for us. He does. Bottom corner. We are taking the penalties first as well, which is sometimes I kind of like doing. Simone steps up. He's going to score this one, isn't he? He is going to score it. He does. Bottom right-hand corner. It's 2-2 two, two on penalties. All right, Moya. Or Maya. I will get his name right. I think Moya. Steps up. Big penalty. Top corner. Morel, that's his name, isn't it? Right, Felipe Anderson, he's already scored today. Can he get himself another goal from the penalty spot? He does. Right, 3-3 three, three on penalties. I hate this. It's going to go down to the last one, isn't it? Montreal steps up. The right back steps up. He's good at penalties, though. He's not too bad. Hopefully, though, he's not going to let me down. And he just bags it forwards. Get in. 4-3 four, three on penalties. Right, Andre steps up for West Ham. Come on, Henderson, make a big save. He dives the right way, but unfortunately doesn't get any hands to it. Right, we can't miss this one. The goal scorer, already Saldado, the uh, centre-back, shoots. He scores his penalty. It's all down to this one now, or else it's going to go to sudden death. Romero is stepping up for West Ham. Come on, Henderson, make a big save, or else it's going to go to uh, sudden death penalties, which I absolutely hate. Come on. I don't want to be knocked out on penalties. I hate being knocked out on penalties. Henderson. He dives, they score, it's going to go to sudden death. It's 5-5 on penalties. Miguel stepping up. He must be tired. He's had an alright game. He's had a good season for us so far. He steps up, he scores his penalty though. Get in Miguel. The young, is he Brazilian or Portuguese? I can't remember what he is now. A young Portuguese player. Regen, obviously. He looks pretty decent. I'm pretty sure last season, last year in Football Manager, I had a Miguel that played for Leicester on the kind of similar sort of position. Right, our goalkeeper, Henderson, is just wandering to his line. Come on, make the save. This is going to go in. I once had a penalty shootout that ended up like 13-12, I think it went. So when we did win, Acra steps up and scores. This could go on for a while. 7-6 now on penalties. This is ridiculous. Come on, miss your penalty. Just miss it, please. <laughs> oh, I can't take this any longer. Come on. We're scoring all ours. I've not... I've never had this one as well, right, where everyone scored their penalty. But even, like, just do the up bit. Obviously, come on, miss it. Sky it, do something. It's saved! We're through to the next round of the FA Cup. Henderson makes the save for us. Whew! Right, okay. We've done well. Sorry, guys. That was a little bit loud. But, passionately say, well done, lads. We're through to the next round of the FA Cup. We really are. We've got this, the draw coming up as well. So, we're gonna, we'll go to the draw and then I'll end the episode there. But we managed to win on penalties, which is fantastic. It really is. Um, I'm going to send the assistant to do that. And we'll, we'll, we'll go to the... Uh, before I end the episode, we'll go have a look, see who we're going to get in the next round of the um, of the FA Cup. We should be drawn today, is it? Be, being drawn? It's not on here anymore. Or is it the 16th? Uh, we'll have a look in a second. Is it today? Uh, inbox. No, right. I'll cut to when it is going to be here. So we're here for the draw for the sixth round of the FA Cup. I'm pretty sure the sixth round is the quarter final, isn't it? And who are we going to get? Who do we want out of this, though? Burnley wouldn't be a bad shout. Liverpool, Cardiff. Here we go. So who are we going to get out of all these guys? Everton, we've managed to beat in the league now. But oh, Burnley or Crystal Palace, that's who we want. We've got Everton. Everton, who knocked us out of the Carabao Cup. Um, pretty much my bogey team, really, at the minute. But we draw Everton in the FA Cup. That's lovely. When's that game going to be played? Um, 
it's not even here yet. Let's just go forward again. I just want to have a look to see when the game will be played. Because that will probably be our next episode, I think. It's going to be us against Everton and whoever else we've got the rest of this month. is just crazy. Man City, Wolverhampton, Tottenham. If I get any points out of these three games, I'll be happy in the league. I doubt it. Probably maybe Tottenham. They're struggling a little bit. There you go. Match being rearranged, has it? Faces former club. That's nice. Uh, schedule rise. Right. Sixth round of the FA Cup. There we go. So, it's going to be the FA Cup against Everton. And then I'll probably either do... I'm going to do Newcastle. Because if we win the Everton game, we get to see who the um, who it will be in the semi-final if we get there. But guys, it's only the one episode today. It's actually dragged on a lot longer than I thought, obviously with the extra time and penalties and all that sort of stuff. So, leave a like down below if you've enjoyed this. Do you reckon we'll be Everton in the sixth round of the FA Cup? Let me know down below. And again, thank you very much for watching, guys. I will catch you in the next one. See you in a bit.